here on the chair. We're gonna be breaking down the steps on how to do a mid fade with a little bit of texture on top. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's jump right into it. Hi guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up before we get started as it does help the algorithm and in hopes that we can reach more people and help people in their barber career. Now to get started, we're gonna start with the lever closed, no guard, and at that temple peak area, we're going to create our first skyline and drop it slightly as we approach the back of the ear. And yes, my clippers are zero gap, which I highly suggest you do as well. There's a link down below to a video where we walk you down the steps on how to zero gap your clippers. And in the back, I usually do drop most fades just to complement that occipital bone. I really think this goes well with most people. Remember to stay soft and easy with your guidelines and brush after every couple strokes. Refine your guidelines as much as possible, take your time with them. And on the opposite side, make sure you end up at that same temple peak area. You can always approach him and look at him from the front to make sure that they align so your fade is consistent throughout. Now for the second guideline, we're going to open our lever completely and take that up about an inch or so. And just make sure that you're running parallel to the one underneath it. As you can see, there is a soft scoop motion with my strokes. Now with my number one guard lever completely open, we're gonna come in and set our third guideline. And again, taking that up about an inch or so, making sure to run parallel to the one underneath it and take that all around the head. Now with my number two guard lever still fully open, we're gonna continue the process. As you can see, I'm using my left thumb to move his bangs out of the way just to make sure I don't cut into them as they are gonna help when we come back and add texture to the top. Now with this number two guard, I am exaggerating that scoop motion. Now with my number three guard lever still fully open, we're gonna continue just blending the sides to the top. I usually don't use anything higher than a number four guard, but in this case, since his um, sides were already short, the highest guard that I will be using is a number three. So by now you should have the first line that we created with the zero, the second that we created with the lever fully open, and the third that we created with the number one guard lever fully open. We're gonna start with that one and work our way down. Now with my one and a half guard, I'm gonna go ahead and close the lever just slightly putting it in what I like to call a three-fourths position. So like I said, we're gonna attack that top guideline and work our way down using mainly the corners of the clipper now that I'm working my way down. And something that I do wanna point out is you can see that this guard is not so much removing the guideline completely, but it's more so just softening it. I still run through my full process and do any touch-up work at the end. So now we're gonna start with that second guideline using the half guard with the lever still in that three-fourths position and attacking that line again using mainly the corners of the clipper and this step is creating a guideline above that but do not take this card any higher as we are going to come back right now with the one guard and remove that my steps are in the description down below i do those exact steps on every single haircut the only thing that really changes is the touch-up work Now 
Now to remove that guideline that the half guard created, we're gonna use a number one guard, still in that three fourths position. Again, using mainly the corners of the clipper, just so we don't push this step any higher. Now to remove that last line, we're gonna use a three-step process, starting with the lever close, then we're gonna open it halfway, and then we're gonna open it fully. We're gonna work in sections, taking our time with this last guideline. We're gonna take each of those notches up just slightly. So here I'm starting with the lever close, taking it up just a bit. Now I'm gonna put it halfway and take that just a bit. And finally, we're gonna open it up completely and finish blending. Now for the back section, I do break that down into two smaller sections. I don't know about y'all, but the back has always been the hardest for me to blend, so I take my time even more on the back side. Very simple, just repeat that three step process all around the head. And all the tools and products that we use on this video are in the description down below guys. Feel free to check those out. I slowed down this clip for y'all just to show y'all that sometimes I angle the clipper even more just to get into these tighter spots and remove some of those dark areas. Now with my half guard, I usually start with the lever fully open. I come back and do any touch up work. And the touch up work is gonna vary from client to client and even from one side of the head to the other side of the head. So this is not something that I can really say in stone and walk y'all through as this just comes within time and developing that eye to see those details. Now I'm gonna use my trimmer in this direction just to get a lot closer to the scalp and then go ahead and turn it around and finish blending that. And by using our trimmer in that forward direction, we're just going to exaggerate the separation from the bottom hair to the fade. Now when you remove that bottom hair, there is gonna be a faint line above it. And that's the guideline that we're gonna to use to know exactly how high up we're gonna take that electric shaver. And like I said, that line was created by using our trimmer in that forward position. As you approach that guideline, I want you to turn your shaver around and use it as if it was a clipper using mainly just the corners of it so we don't take this step any higher than it needs to. And I do recommend you use your blow dryer when you're dusting off your client just to get them that much cleaner. Here I tried using my comb to get his bangs out of the way, 
but it wasn't working as well as I wanted it to, so I'm going to go ahead and lightly dampen the hair and just clip the bangs out of the way. Starting in the center as usual, then we work our way to each side. And before I do work on the other side, I start from the center again just to kind of recalibrate and make sure that I am going in a straight as line as possible. And when it comes to most kids hair, I do dry shave just because for the most part it is just kind of peach fuzz. We're going to wet the hair a little bit and get it ready for texture. I'm going to start in that front, getting my first section. And here I'm just going to come in at an angle and start point cutting. Working my way back in small sections. And as you can see, I am grabbing the hair from the bottom, from the scalp basically, just to get deeper into that texture. And as I approach the cowlick area, I usually don't come in as steep. I kind of just point cut in more of a straightforward direction. Just so I don't create those big gaps and then have the hair, the small hairs wanting to poke out at all times. Using high heat to dry the hair and open up that cuticle so we can get it all to stand up and really expose that texture. Here I'm going to use a matte pomade and just run that throughout the whole hair. And after applying my product, I usually always step back and retouch up anything that I need to. And here I'm just adding a little bit of hair enhancements. Here's the before. And here's the after. The bald mid fit guys with texture on top. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let us know down in the comments below what y'all did or didn't like. As always, thank y'all for tuning in. Till next time, peace.